Hello friends, so welcome. In this video, I'm going to display all the tables in this table and also work with uh, edit and delete. So let's go to the VS Code and open the index inside the tables. And here we have the table and the remove these uh, two dummy data, leave only one. And here we need to add the for each so for each dollar sign tables as table and paste that in here now what we need for the table one what we need to display so let's go here name quest number status and location so let's open this one name status uh, quest number uh, status and location status here and location here okay and let's add now the name dollar sign table name and let's copy this paste in here and change the be quest number okay here is going to be the status okay and here the location let's save it Go to the browser and refresh. Ah, uh, yeah, we need the status and we need the name here. The same thing for the location. Because we have the enums. Okay, refresh. And yeah, now the table name is table one quest number is four uh, status is pending location front location inside good now let's work with edit and delete and for that i'm going to copy what we have in the menus index just to be more quick copy this the link in the form and paste it inside here now we need to change the row to go to the admin tables edit and also here we need the table id and for the delete we need admin tables destroy and dollar sign table id here let's save it refresh okay we need to add them in the div. So cut and say div with class flex and uh, space x2. Save it. Refresh again. And yeah, we have now the edit and delete buttons. If I click here, we navigate to the tables one edit very good open the table controller and in the edit let's add also here inject the table model dollar sign table and return Return the view uh, admin dot tables with one a admin tables dot edit and also we need to add the compact here so compact and add the table good save go now to the views. 
uh, in the create let's save this as a edit so name it edit hit enter and uh, let's go and refresh and yeah now we have the table let's change the road to be so in the form the road is going to be admin tables update we need to add also the table id and we need to override the method so add method to be put good now in the name we need to add values value and dollar sign table name the same thing for the guest number so copy and paste it here just change this one to be quest number very good now for the select we need to say here selected if the if the table status value is the same as the status value sign status value okay let add the same thing in here so copy this and paste down there just change not status but location here and save it refresh we have the table one but uh, the quest number why we don't have input value quest number let's save it refresh and yeah now we have the quest number we have a pending and uh, table is front let's go back now here we have available and inside let's go and edit and we have available but the location is again front why is that so select it if the we need to change also here if the location is location value let's save it refresh and yeah we now we have inside good now let's go and work with the table controller on update also here inject the model so table dollar sign table and uh, here we need now to update that so let uh, add the table store request because we are going to do the same thing here and just say now dollar sign table update the request validated okay and return to the view so return to the road admin dot tables index let's save it A refresh Good. now let's change the quest number to b4 click store we redirect back and the quest number is 4 if i uh, go on edit uh, just remove this one click store we redirect it back we need we need to add uh, uh, errors but i'm going to add all in the next video 
So for all the resources, categories, menus, tables. Now let's see if we if we have a status and say pending for this one, we have one for pending. So this is pending. Let's make also this one pending. And the status and the location is going to be outside. Click store. We have pending and the location outside. So we are good with update. Let's work with uh, delete. Also here the same thing. I'm going to add the table. And after that, let's say we just need to delete the table. So the last line table. Delete. Okay, and return to the road. Copy that, paste in here. Let's save it. And refresh. Very good. Now let's click here. Delete. Are you sure? Okay. And we delete it. Okay, friends, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one.